What's up people, it's Sabrina. So, it's been a while since I've been uploading videos on YouTube, but yet I haven't shared with you what all art supplies I've been using and I'm really obsessed with. So, this video is for those people who are interested in, in knowing what all art supplies I've been using till now. So, without further ado, let's move on to the video. Let's start with the set of graded pencils. Recently, I have got three charcoal pencils grading soft, neutral and hard. In the normal graphite pencils, I have got uh, the pencils ranging from 2B to 10B. And the other pencils grade 3B, 4B, 6B and 8B. I'll quickly show you how these pencils work so that you are easily able to differentiate between them. This one's 2B, this one's 3B, 4B, 6B, 8B and 10B. And the charcoal pencils, as you can see this one's were soft, neutral and hard. This one's hard, neutral and soft. If you are also fond of sketching then this kneadable eraser is a must have thing for you because it is just like play doh and you can easily mold it into any shape like as you can see i have molded it into a flat shape so that i can easily create strokes or you can even mold it to form really pointed tip so that you can create very fine strokes in your sketches like this So I recommend this thing to all those people who are really fond of pencil sketching. Please buy this thing as soon as possible. So next art supply is this set of 50 Camblin sketch pens. This set is really amazing because it has almost all the shades of colors that I had ever known. So this is also a must have. Next is this mechanical pencil. This is also from Camlin and the leads I have got with this is of 0.5 mm. You can even get it of 0.3 mm or 0.5 mm. I'm pretty sure that all sketch artists have this thing with them because it enables you to create really fine strokes and moreover you don't need to sharpen it. You can clearly observe how fine the lines are. I'm gonna make this really brief because you have seen me using this in many of my videos. Yep, that's my glue gun and you must have this if you are also a craft lover like me because it can simply stick anything, just anything. So recently I have just developed this crave of learning calligraphy so I got this set of Camlin brush tip pens and wow these are really amazing. You can clearly see how fine the tip is and it runs so smooth on any paper. I'll quickly show you. And the vibrancy of the color is also amazing. I got this cheap book from a nearby stationery store and it has 36 printed sheets of various designs and you can use this in making cards or scrapbooks or explosion boxes. These are easily available in different sizes too. I love them. This is my set of Camlin soft pencils and these are really amazing. They help you in creating such beautiful backgrounds for your paintings as they smudge into one another so easily. Have a look. I'll be blending a few colors together. Just create some strokes side by side on a paper and then simply using your hand or a cotton you can smudge them easily into one another. Next is the set of micron pens and if you love doodling then you must have these pens because these are available in different sizes as the smallest one is of 0.003 mm and the most broadest one is of 0.8 mm as you can see. I'll show how a few of these work. This one was 0.2. 
this one 0 0.3 this one 0 0.5 you must be wondering what this one is it is also a brush tip pen and is used for calligraphy too I'll make this one brief too. I got this set of 12 premium Camlin color pencils and I'm just unboxing it in front of you so that you can have a look at it right now. Here are the 12 pencils. These permanent deco color markers are really amazing as these are available in two shades that is silver and gold and I've been using them for different purposes. You can easily fake calligraphy using this as shown. These are the paints that I use almost every day. These are my acrylic paints or fabric paints. I use them so frequently like I have to buy a set almost every month. And these are available in almost every color. You can buy them separately. And I love them. And if you have paints that means you must have paint brushes. So I've got paint brushes of different sizes and this one is the most broadest one that I use in backgrounds and this is my set of round tip brushes. I've also got flat tip brushes. The rest of all the brushes are the flat tip ones. Oh, I haven't maintained them. I'm just so bad at that. If you love doing painting then you must have noticed that the paints you have to buy most frequently are white and black paints. Therefore I bought these tubes of white and black acrylic colors so that they are always in handy for use. So these were the art supplies that I've been using and I just love them. And most of them as I told you are must have for most of the artists. So that's all for today. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to Sabrina's Craft World for more art and craft videos like this. Bye!